We will try to represent some effects with watercolor pencils on a base of red paint simulating rust colors. On this reddish base dark washings and basic effects of wear with oils have been applied. We will use a wide range of pencils of different colors trying to get some chromatic richness and diversity of effects. To apply the effects we will use a pair of brushes and a makeup swamp. On the left side of this tower you can see some of the effects already made. Weathering effects. To do this we will use pencils in gray, red and light tones applied in dry and wet. First of all, we apply the dry pencil in the form of vertical streaks. Then with the brush moistened in water we are fusing the spots and giving them shape. While the stains are drying on one side, we are working other areas of the model in the same way, alternating light colors, reddish and dark. Shading and extreme weathering. For this we will use the black pencil that stands out on the base color on which we work. We apply the pencil in wet, with extreme care and choosing the working area well. We try to apply the effect on the top to melt with the brush moistened with water towards the bottom. We must try to obtain completely straight and perpendicular to the base of the tower. We combine black pencil with dark gray and brown to obtain chromatic richness. After softening with a wet brush, while we let dry we continue with other effects. Tint of areas. Applying light colored pencils in wet we can tint certain areas or pieces differentiating them from the rest. After moistening the pencils, we can apply them superimposed on the determined area. When blending with a wet brush, we soften the effect and mix the colors obtaining interesting variations.
edge hig lighting. For this we are going to use a clear pencil that stands out against the base color on which we work. To reinforce edges in some pieces, we only apply the dry pencil on these areas. Rain Marks With the pencil in buff tone we can represent this effect in a simple way. We draw lines perpendicular to the base with the dry pencil at the bottom of the tower. Then blend with the wet brush. We repeat the process throughout the entire piece until obtaining the desired effect. Rust. We can reproduce oxidation marks using pencils in orange, brown and red tones. We draw dry lines of different colors. Choosing the areas well and fusing them later with the wet brush we will obtain different nuances and intermediate tones very suitable and with equally attractive results. Chipping. We can represent chips on edges with rust colored pencils. To do this, we moisten the pencil and apply on the selected areas, drawing the chips. Chipping in rust streaks. Combining rust colored pencils, we increase the chromatic richness. By blending the areas with peeling paint with the wet paintbrush, we can obtain traces and rust streaks.
weathering effects. We can continue introducing various weathering effects by increasing the number of working tones. Working with light gray and middle tone pencils combined with black and buff we contribute chromatic richness to the whole. This combined with the marks and rust weathering increase the showiness of the model. stencils. To obtain this effect, it will be enough to use the white pencil and make all kinds of inscriptions or marks. To make these marks so characteristic and obtain good results we sharpen the pencil well. After drawing, to soften the effect and remove traces of the pencil, rub with a dry brush, white metal welds. To make this effect so simple we use the pencils of the set of metallic colors. These include one in aluminum tone very suitable for reproducing solders and various marks on painted parts and manufactured in aluminum. Initially, it is advisable to darken the area by airbrushing a very dark color. We will try to make it very matte. Rubbing the pencil and dry aluminum tone on the relief of the welding we observe how the color appears on it. Finally rub with a makeup swab to get some shine. We can also apply the aluminum pencil on handles and other pieces whose handling caused the natural metal from the factory to appear. By combining different pencils and application forms we can obtain a range of effects and practical and novel results about our model. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it will help you with your models. We invite you to follow us on YouTube on the AK Interactive channel. Happy Modeling!